in the party. So I'm gonna quickly go through these. So this is the sort of first level. I can clean that no problem, and I I clean also the first three of the second level, and I usually die on the fourth. So what we'll do is we'll watch the th the battle, the third battle of the second level. And by when you win these, you get sacrifice points for totems, and with sacrifice points you can summon more totems. Um, and more totems is just like those dragon soul thingies. Uh, you uh, you need them to feed into your main totems to increase their experience um, to, so that they level up and the more the totems level up more statistics they give to you and later uh, when you earn enough you can go to the totem shop and buy the items required for the totem upgrade and then once you upgrade your totem then the, the its quality improves that is for example now my fire totem is uh, reducing by 25% the damage of the one of one line and giving one 25% uh, increased damage for my hero. And when I upgrade it, it's going to be 30%. So that's why upgrading is very important. For healing totem, upgrading I think is critical because the basic one that I have, um, which I think is blue or purple, um, now. Although the colors are for stats, not for the the skill qualities, um, it only lasts for four turns, which is basically it finishes up too quick. Um, and there are some battles that I could win if it would last longer. So um, for that case, I checked, and if I upgraded the healing totem, uh, it would last for twelve turns. So that's one of the things that I could do. There 1.6 million battle rating and I win this one and this one also I win and we'll watch this battle and we'll see how awesome it is. <coughs> 1.647 million battle rating and I normally win this one. So they're really strong and of course my other party members will die. Three hundred thousand puncture. It's my main hero who does all the killing, and of course the angel will reduce the health of everybody. Here goes the angel. Awesome Raphael attack. A hundred thousand on the one without a shield. I've also switched my ages, so we're stunning people now. Uh, every two turns, uh, somebody is stunned, which is I think awesome. Nether Knight still surviving which is very good but it's also coming due to all the healings from Genie and Celestial Maiden. So another puncture finishes one guy off. Nether Knight still surviving and there is another healing from Celestial Maiden which is and the shield that you see here it's basically the, the, um, the three debuffs that she's supposed to remove. 170,000 damage on all the ones which don't have this shield on the enemy from the angel. Really nice attack from Raphael. So he reduces everyone, but the killing blows are done by my hero. You see, there are 300,000 and a mortal strike. Another healing from Genie. So against all monsters that don't hit my back row, you see how long basically they can't kill me. They literally can't kill me because. The healing is too much. You see now my, my main heals for 32,000 per turn just by himself. And on top of that is the healing from Celestial Maiden and Genie. This is a very powerful formation for a knight class. Um, an archer can pull like me can pull this off uh, if you have amazing equipment. But I think this set right here with two healers in the back and your main knight in the front would be very powerful for a knight class. So they, they really just can't kill my main. That's where it's coming from. They just can't get through him. But the next one does. And let's see the difference. 
or it'd be funny if I win now. The reason why these guys win is because these necromancers can stun me, or I don't know the correct word maybe, but basically when they stun my main character, he doesn't move, and when he doesn't move, he doesn't get healing, and when he doesn't get healing, of course he dies. But also when he is stunned like that, uh, he can't kill them. So right now I got lucky that they still didn't stun my main and they stunned the nether knight and celestial maiden who I don't need at all. Their nether knight dies in response and will die straight away. There is my Aegis stun which t stunned the demonic mage unfortunately. Nice damage from Raphael. But the good news is my main wasn't stunned but now he is. And this is the problem. When he is stunned now my, my healers try to keep him alive but he needs to be awake to kill them and, and that's the problem there is the second necromancer the problem are the first two necromancers if they if, if I get lucky I, I'm sure if I do this a hundred times I will win but you need to get really lucky to be to take them out now angel took one out and if my main can take the other one that's already good to stop the stun there is a beautiful puncture for 55,000 taking out that necromancer. So now I just need a little bit of luck for the mages not to get crazy and kill off uh, my battle row. And I could win this, but my main is now at half of his life. Still healing 32,000 and hitting with the angel AoE and now the main strike. You see they're cutting down his health by little 524,000 damage on that middle guy and he still has tons of health. That is pretty impressive. So I'm running out of health on my main beautiful 80,000 healing from Celestian Maiden. This is actually the first time I have this battle after recruiting the Celestian Maiden. And maybe she is the one who is making the difference. But I was also hoping that her debuff remover would remove the stun, but apparently it doesn't. There is the respawn on my main hero, and I really need healing now. He's still stunned, so he couldn't get healed, and that's how they win. You get two more attempts, so I will spend them, but we'll skip this time. And just to see if there is a lucky, lucky draw loss and one more I could move the fire totem to to reduce two of their attacks but not gonna bother so that's the one I still have to pass but I think I already pass away a lot and that gives me um, per day now 140 sacrifice points which I Quickly spend, you get 20 per per click of a button, and then the, the ones that you get, these are all for feeding. In the set totems, you set which totems you want as your main five, and out of the main five, one is the one that you use. And now I, I just finished leveling up to level five my fire totem, so we're gonna go to upgrade, and we can see. Oh, actually, I need just a one to level to to finish it I thought I finished it so we're gonna make it level 6 now and that gives more stats that's it it's not gonna change his 25% damage that comes from upgrading um, so that's good so let's level 6 done so now I'm gonna work on the next weakest one which is the level 3 spirit soul and I'm gonna bring that up um, to the next level so 540 experience needed I'll give him 600 which is all the ones, all the green ones I had and it becomes level 4. So that increases my battle rating further. Now 555. Dark Abyss is the next cool thing here. Uh, you can do a whole bunch of levels which I have done here. And I can now one click collect which is finally, it is an amazing button. Because otherwise I would have to manually re repeat 50 levels every time. And it's quite a good income, 570,000 gold with the rest of the items. And Nightmare, I can usually do just a couple of levels so I don't bother. 
so I usually just collect my reward and then I go to rankings and then usually from yesterday I can claim my reward and I am here somewhere number 16 which is good enough to get 10 of these and 125 of these which are of course the items that you need to, to, to buy things in um, in the shop here uh, and now I've gotten only 30 because that's I did it only for three days so and that's enough only for the lowest shop um, but the items here are all very good so uh, the, the more powerful you get I imagine you can um, once I can do purgatory here on a max level that's gonna give really good daily income Inferno I usually skip I think the income is not very big and I can ignore it um, let's see here drills is something that let's click on that I think Celestian Maiden is now still drilling against the turtle um, I gave her a more expensive drill because I wanted her to get to level 50 uh, we're gonna give Hardy for the others now so she is working and even even Zway Handra will get it, Genie will get it, and even Pyrona will get it, because I have a free slot anyways. So there we go. Oh, I didn't talk to Hades here for the side quest. Let's take that. So now we're blocked until level 64 for the next campaign. And um, that's done. Now I'll do a mount training just for the devotion I'm looking there. Um, I'll just click it a couple of times. I have quite high levels here, so it takes um, a lot of time to use up um, a lot of these items to level up. I'm now 90% on the mount on upgrade and plus 23 on freedom. Of course here I can get more but I'm waiting for some cool event where I can get more items for using these and if they don't give that event I'll start using them anyways I'll just wait a little bit um, let's see the arena is needed to finish off the devotion I think to get the 600 I'm usually trying to get 600 devotion per day so I can pick up the maximum amount of those free rewards and with the power that I have I usually can kill um, quite a lot in the arena now except now I got somebody more than a million bell rating there that's first time I see rain I I'm sure I cannot kill rain there so I'll kill everybody else And then we'll have to refresh because rain is too strong for me. There we go. I try of course to get all victories so if there is somebody I cannot kill I refresh instead of trying to fight with him. Uh, people who are playing a more free count, then they'll have to um, basically wait for the arena to refresh um, and also accept to have some losses where you still get rewards, so that's not a major issue. But of course, if you win, you get the most reward. Alright, so that's done with the arena. And now I got my 600 devotions, so I'm gonna pick that up. And also, it's good to have a look in the list to make sure that you haven't forgotten something. So, for example, you see here Raiders, it says I haven't done yet. And Gem Socketing, that's fine. Um, raiders, I'll do later, it's not so important. Uh, and also, the last one, Recruit 1 and 2, that's 2 free per day that you get. So, that's 3-3 three, three of Topaz Hero Souls. And this is uh, where it costs basically a hundred million. Uh, so if we do ten cards, then a one click is going to cost two and a half million gold. So if you spend about a hundred million gold, I'm told you get about a thousand ruby hero souls worth. 
if you want to buy those Ruby Soul Heroes. So that's going to be my plan, but first, uh, before I, sp I spend that, I'm going to be spending all the gold on, um, on enhancing, uh, which is where basically w w what we discussed and agreed about. Also important to pick up the stuff that you missed and go through every single one of the rankings. Even if you uh, remember something, just click every button and make sure that you have collected everything that's applicable for you. Um, then over to the uh, hot events and just to check there are a whole lot of buy options which I don't like so much I more prefer where you can do stuff and get reward for it like here you have to uh, use 30 angel tears but then you have to spend 2000 to get 80 so I'm not a very big fan of these kind of deals and then the tycoons I didn't like so much but okay we're gonna pick up these rewards all bound that's the one from raiders that's missing now here alchemy I usually do 10 diamonds to pick up 750 more so let's do that just one time that's 123,000 gold but also you get 750,000 for the first one there and sometimes I go to 50 diamonds and pick up this um, 1 million as well but usually not and hero upgrade I think is a very good event for anybody who is recruiting a new hero because you get so many seraph stones for your angel Spire and compensation are of course awesome to have and they're applicable for level 30 and 33 plus players who have logged in because there were whatever problems and there's a thousand bell owner 200 vouchers 50 stamina 200 vouchers 50 stamina and 400 dragon crest so we're gonna pick that up and because of all the stamina that I get I can go and spend them immediately which is these are done so we can spend on the next best good stuff so that's additional experience for me I'm happy about that and the last thing uh, which remains is the Raiders and also to pick up the rewards from the uh, from the tycoon so let's collect these and synth whatever we can and one click explore all right just a couple of le couple left one last one there we go synth 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 and now I can see I have 10 here 4 and 7 this is good 3, 4 and 5 this is okay 4, 1, 1, 2 not okay 8, 1, 1, 5 not okay so I need 2 additional ones on everywhere where I have 1 prioritizing the blessed stones I think those are more important so we're gonna start with this one and usually I go to see who has more than 10 so for example here 14 and 200 something thousand bell rating so I'll try to take 2 additional from him because he has a lot anyways I, I try not to hurt players when somebody has more than 10 then that's more than they can usually use so so that's two that's good and two more here let's see who has more than 10 there's 23 but almost 600,000 not sure I'll win here 353,000 19 I can definitely win this one also a good looking character just one more that's enough so I'm good here and now I still have five to go so I'm gonna try to get two more here five five here 63 definitely can use cannot use so many so I'll take a couple from him or her 
I really don't need more, I'll just take a couple. One more. I thought generally that if somebody has a lot, the game will allow easier um, to get the, the item, but you see here, twice already failed to get, even though the other person had more than 60 and I only have one. So we're gonna try to see if there's another 60 something here. Here's 24, here's 35, but can't win that one, so we'll go for the 24. And I think I have just one left, and at zero, so if I try again, it won't allow me so I didn't manage to get everything I wanted but I got this one okay this one this one is okay this one is okay this one is okay and here I will run out in two clicks um, but okay it is what it is don't forget to collect rewards and I forgot to press protect not that it's a huge problem alright let's protect at least for one hour they can't steal from me and we're gonna go to group buy as well this time I'm skipping a lot of things in group buy I don't really like it and I see that people also haven't spent here I was looking at this mount only and it was purchased up to about here and I was waiting for it, for it to be purchased a bit more so now it came to here and the discount became 20% off in which case to buy 10 of these items will then cost 4.8 and I will do that so we'll, we'll buy that so that moved over here now and we can go activate that mount because I, I don't have that here it is graphics are still loading because I have deleted my cache um, just recently so everything has to be re-downloaded on my computer so that's the one I don't have so we're gonna unlock this oh it's insufficient how many oh cuz I didn't synthesize it is that it because I got the short but I got the shorts but I didn't synth, synth them so they'll be usually in the item sorry show synth only I again double click one click and then items and it's usually somewhere here rare items coquetry soul good and recently I also synthesized cherub stones I can do one more eight so we'll do that actually now that we're doing cherub stones I will take a small detour and go to my guardian angels I got level 9 for my main, level 8 for Nether Knight, and level 8 for Genie, and the other two had 7, so I just made another 8, so we're gonna give that to Celestial Maiden, and I have 2 2s, 1 3, and 1 7, um, and Cherub Stones of course are important because they're from 7 to 8 there's a 50% increase so we're gonna see an increase in battle rating of 1000 just from that effect so we're gonna get also the last daily uh, online bonus which is the good one that's excellent and then we're gonna go to my mounts glamour and unlock cockatrice yes so the mount is unlocked 1000 bell rating from unlocking the mount so that's good and this mount has a 20% chance to increase character attack and defense by 5% so still mine is better <coughs> mine is now um, having the happiness skill of let's have a look it's, it's in the upgrade you have to go and I have now happiness plus 7 with this mount and that gives me 8% attack 3 times because it's stackable 3 times so that's much better um, bonuses so unlocking cockatrice was important uh, to get more stats but I'm not gonna ride it so that's the first group buy and the upgrade of the cockatrice iron cockatrice is much more expensive here it's gonna cost uh, for 10 13,500 and actually before it was 16,000 so it got a little bit cheaper I think so um, I will think about it perhaps later but not for now and the rest of the items nobody has really purchased 
and it's interesting for me to click on each item to see who has uh, which item people are pro uh, purchasing because usually people who spend money know what's good and what's not and while I'm still learning and it's good uh, it's very good to see like a lot of people bought gem enhancement stones so now it has a 40% uh, off so if I would go ahead and buy 10 of these which it would cost 10,000 but it'll give me 3,000 gem enhancement stones but that sounds like too much so not gonna spend it right now maybe we'll think about it also here refining stone looks like somebody bought 10 so that get, get that gives 20% um, off now 1,600 Elements nobody got rune stones no ruby hero soul here I was thinking to to get it because um, here you could easily get um, the thousand required ruby souls uh, ruby hero souls but um, on the other hand I'm um, getting a hundred million gold it's kind of um, see here if I get ten and ten times fifty would be five hundred ruby hero souls so that would be the same as fifty million gold. And I think it in here this cost 16,000 diamonds and I, I think as I'm getting stronger if I would just uh, respawn or revive in the world boss I might earn more money than um, more ruby hero souls via gold than this or I'm, I haven't calculated it but that's the impression I have I also don't see a lot of people buying it although some people bought 25 so so that is definitely much more wanted item than other items and the other ones basic energy card because it's not super expensive um, there is not it's now 40% off and maybe just yeah three needed to um, to get to 50% off so that's something we'll do three we'll spend all the group buy vouchers and that's gonna cost 150 for me and that's gonna then reduce the discount for everyone so there now we reached 200 and that's 45 percent off advanced energy card has been sold a lot why because uh, you can buy it, or you can buy one for just group tickets without any diamonds whatsoever so that's why people have been buying it a lot so um and actually you might be able let me see if i have i have 700 so if i put two yeah i can actually spend all of those so see for 500 i got two more synth scroll not so much enchant or people have bought maximum amount more than a thousand so that's also another very wanted item because enchanting um, items is very difficult and dragon soul this is a very very interesting item it's limited to 10 per day I'll get them and that's gonna help to um, level up the dragon souls in vouchers I usually get one one is limited to one per day. I get 400 vouchers, 500,000 gold. I think that's a good one. Then the rest of the items, not super interested about. Um, maybe the gem enhancement, because now I see that it's a wanted item. I'll get it. Refining stone also was a wanted item, but a hundred for a hundred. And I've done refinings and I know that you need so many thousands so I'm not gonna bother with that um, the next thing that I can consider here are the topaz hero souls and I, I did get one lot of this when I was recruiting my Celestial Maiden but since I'm not planning anymore to get any topaz heroes I'm not gonna get this and of course the enchanted or limited to one per day gonna get that also with vouchers so that might qualify me for some loto numbers so I'm gonna just choose a random number <coughs> operation too fast okay let's do again new number selected and one more 
Now we already have 400, so let's get something else, 700, good. So that's three chances to, to get a uh, lottery, big prize, 5,000 diamonds. So that's the group buy, and also not to forget, um, if you have it on, to go to Tycoon and pick up um, all the rewards there. And here, usually, you don't see a reward, although it will flash often, uh, but in, in each one, you can pick up the reward and the tycoon is basically giving you rewards based on how much you have earned on specific timings but I really don't like this event um, because it's too complex I think way too complex <coughs> I like much more simple events but still you have to go through each button that's another annoyance to make sure that you have collected everything that you're eligible for but yeah I guess it's just a personal choice that this specific event I don't enjoy I don't like and that after doing all that you gotta recheck the hot events because you might qualify for something that you were not qualifying before so we're gonna have a quick look precious here is for um, recharging we got the today's gifts which we took Om omnipotence which I took I'm looking here at gemology I could do extra gemology to pick up this one but I'm already playing a long time so I'm gonna skip that all around talents could take the one for the raiders alchemy I picked up fishing I usually don't do extras there sometimes for gem enhancements I do extras and the hero upgrade jackpot I usually don't see too much sense of that spire and now I, I can get the hundred soul, uh, soul stones for the raiders 15 raiders and that's about it so that is actually all the stuff that I had to do today so it's a long long video of course we'll be putting it up in two parts probably and I hope you guys enjoyed this this finishing up with bell rating of 557,672 level 63 Earl 5 star and I'm gonna quickly go through each of the heroes in case somebody wants to see some statistics in each of the pages in case somebody wants to see my bags and there's I know there are a lot of chests in there that I still have to open but I try to control the amount of time I play games because I don't want to spend all day um, playing games so that's why they're there usually every couple of days I go through and open up all the chests and use up all the items same for dragon soul I have a whole lot of dragon souls in there that I haven't used up yet and there the astrals are also of course opening up every additional level so the last one I unlocked was level 63 over here but like I said the bonuses for the astrals were very very good in the beginning of the game but in the late game um, it's um, they are negligible I would even say so um, not to forget also I just remembered which is very good to go to the guild and pick up your wages Here we go get wages and to double check that you have picked up the rewards for the twilight clash yeah I have already picked them up good <coughs> Raiders is ready for the first synthesis which is also good just before logging off so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the other videos I'm uploading, please do click on like and subscribe. And remember, if you want to come and have fun playing uh, League of Angels on these servers, please follow the link in the description of the video. That's my referral link. And then they'll know that you came uh, from my videos or presentations. And that's also, of course, good for me. So thanks in advance for following that link. And uh, well, that's it, you guys. I have all the other stuff is on dollygames.com. You can see also that in the description of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or anything, put it down in the comments below the video. And uh, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a very nice day.